diving video for you, and this one's a pretty freaking sick one. This is an awesome day trip. Scott got some personal bests. I got some personal bests. Ariane got some personal bests. It was just a crazy trip. We're going to do another sticker giveaway. Uh, comment below which sticker design you would like, and I will pick a winner and announce it in the description of the next video, so make sure you check those descriptions. You can see all the designs to choose from at my website, h2ovinyldesigns.com. That's where you can buy any of my hats or stickers, all with free shipping. Um, share the video, share the channel, let's keep it growing, and uh, we'll go ahead and get into it now. What's up guys, back in the Bahamas again. Um, I'm driving on the first spot. We got Scott and Ariane in the water. Hopefully we get some good diving action, probably do some yellowtail fishing, some other snapper fishing, and uh, that's it. Scotty's going down. We first started off diving 60 foot and uh, saw some fish there, a little hogfish, decided to let him go because we could only keep one each and we want bigger ones. But then we found this guy, Red Grouper. Stuck him with the sling, then he started hauling butt away, uh, but it was a really solid shot. He started kind of pinwheeling as you'll be able to see here and didn't want to try to pull him up so just let him run let him get a little tired and just kind of follow him for a while and scott was helping me keep track of him uh, the shaft from the sling actually ended up falling out of him which is kind of normal if it didn't go all the way through him but he was definitely wounded and he ended up rocking up and we saw right where he rocked up so i grabbed my poseidon pole spear and this thing just packs like a crazy punch and went under the ledge where he was and had to go talk him into coming up to the surface. You gotta remember that this is uh, 60 foot and we're shooting slings and pole spears, not spear guns, so it's definitely a lot harder and teamwork is key. Scott was there to grab this from me so I could get back to the surface easier. And that was my second dive too, so I was still winded from the first one a little, but went back down and got him. And this is definitely my best red grouper I've ever got. I mean, usually like a six to eight pound red grouper is a nice red grouper and this one was 14 pounds. I didn't see the ledge. Yeah, why, why did you I thought I saw it. 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 I thought so that uh, didn't lose the shaft on him. I didn't know how I, I said you want me to put this on. Oh? The goggles. Look at the red. And this red. grouper that you'll see in this clip, this is called a tiger grouper. They don't get very big. They get a little bigger than those uh, strawberry grouper. But this one was being a uh, little standoffish he kind of kept his distance i thought he was going to come and give me a shot right here but he just kind of disappeared into the rocks but lots of life on that reef get down on that sierra dip thanks to nick antonelli mm -hmm. what's in fish dip Scotty pulled our first hog up for the day, and it was a nice little hog, probably around like six pounds or so. So definitely one worth shooting. It's the same one. Oh. 
So this is the one that made the whole trip for us. You can see that gold pole spear there. That's Scott's. He followed a black grouper and saw it go inside this coral head. And so I hopped in the water with him and he swam down with the pole spear, put a shot in it. It rocked him up inside the coral head like they normally do. Uh, then I swam down next, put another shot with the pole spear, with my Poseidon pole spear in it. And he just stayed rocked up in there. We hit him in the back towards the tail, but it, they were both really solid holding shots. Um, and then for like the next 30 minutes or so, we kind of just alternated dives going down there, taking turns trying to work this fish out. And you can see how hard that I'm pulling on these pole spears trying to get this fish to budge because we couldn't get a hand on him. He was just too far in there. And there's a couple different spots you could try from. The easiest would be where the pole spears went in because if you get them to come out that way, it'd be that would be pretty nice. But then you see you can go around and there's another hole at the top. And I could get a hand on him, but I just I couldn't even grip him. He was just too big. Couldn't move him out of there. His fins are probably all locked up, and he just was not budging. Uh, we started drawing the attention, or catching the attention of some sharks, some reef sharks, some bull sharks. Uh, but we just kept taking turns, diving down, and hoping we'd be able to work this thing free. Then while we're sitting at the surface, I'm about to make the next drop down, and all of a sudden we look down and the grouper's on the surface of the coral head, right on the top of the coral head, and the bull shark's really close to him, so we just had to freaking haul straight down. Scott had a pole spear. We didn't really have a game plan here, just trying to get the fish up, so he had the spear. He kind of fended off the bull shark if that thing was going to do anything, and... I was going to try to grab the grouper, which is exactly the way it worked out. And now those pole spears are still in them. They're holding them right there. So I grabbed on the grouper, got a real good grip on him, and then kind of pushed off the rock and a, kind of like a jerking, squatting motion. And it knocked my mask down to my neck, filled up with water. I was able to get the mask back on, hang on to the fish, get back to the service, and that was like the trophy fish of the trip. Dude, my whole mask came off my face underwater. You got him? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Is my camera on? Yeah. Woo! Dude, I'm charging him. I'm charging him. I can't get my hand out. Man, hey, there's a gaff in this gunnel right here. I don't know what I did. Got it? Woo! Yes. That was a mission. Just like with that red grouper, we had to go back in the water to get the shafts out. And both spears were pretty good. The slip tips were still there. We didn't break them off. Um, they were pretty much good to go. Bent one a little bit, but we were able to bend it back and keep shooting it. We even got our tips and our shafts are fine. Oh, that one's a little bent. <laughs> Here I was driving again and Ariane shot a hogfish. This is the first fish she's ever shot. She's just getting into free diving and spear fishing. And it was a big male hogfish. So for the first fish, that's a pretty good spot to start. We kind of broke that pole spear a little bit on the black. 
just throw him up here. That's like our biggest hog. Yeah, it's a nice one. Scotty boys, time to go home. I'm touching that. The last fish to top off the prize possession. Did you have fun, Ariane? Yeah. Did you get sunburn, Ariane? I don't know, did I? A little bit. All right, almost out of battery. Starting the ceremonial, new ceremonial thing. Okay. Here, here. Charging. Wait, 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 rope. Yeah, I'm good. Hop in. Good? Yeah, I got <laughs> We were all pumped up from the day and I wanted to try scurfing on the cooler lid and it actually worked. Got up on the first try, but it doesn't really steer very well. But I don't know why the audio cut out on this clip, but that's all we got for that. on plane put everyone up front it's almost on plane we ran into what technical difficulties, technical difficulties. Technical. i think it's a broken oil pump so we're filling it manually every 30 minutes The Invincible Angler Hybrid makes it back Bangler. on another trip. The Invangler. Ariane, what are you doing? Show me the catch, Joey. We'll give him a pre. We're coming back in. We got a little alarm action going on. Some pretty Ricky in the background. What does it say? Giant blacks, giant reds. You got a scale in your car? No. I'll wait when I get home. Personal best. Oh. Giant blacks. <laughs> that was an adventure. Yes. That's a big motherfucker. Isn't it huge? Do you